Hello, hello. Good to see you. Um, I just want to give you a brief overview about protocols, meta protocols, but I don't want to go into the deep because there are a lot of more people going into it. It's more like general opportunities, trust, future, something. So, no deep dive from my perspective to protocols, just give you a brief overview. Um, Bitcoin is stupid. Don't blame me. It's a simple protocol. It's super strong, super easy. But um, there are lots of change which have more opportunities to do. So what we do is we put um, with ordinals the idea um, a protocol on top where we are able to talk directly to the blockchain. So this is what we at TAP do. And that is super important because um, we, I say, care about the core principles from Bitcoin, which means the strength, the simplicity. Well, making Bitcoin smarter, it involves beyond being on a digital asset and becomes super, super platform innovation. So this drives us opportunities. So it's simple and we can use it. It's 15 years of trust. So 15 years we are able to use this chain. So everybody is knowing about. So, um, but we can super more stuff like you know from different other chains like DeFi, yeah, uh, tokenization, IoT, and we want to bring that on Bitcoin. Tap Protocol is trying to do that by his protocol solution that you are using all the benefits of Bitcoin. So, what we also do is we really support the miners. The miners are super important to get the network running. It's super important that they get a kind of benefit from that. We all support that because we are leading the developer first principle. Everything is open on MIT license. So everybody's able to use the protocol. This is what we provide. It's a global standard maybe in the future for financial opportunities. So traditional services may go on Bitcoin. And I really believe this is a kind of future. So that all the things you know from tra traditional financial institute services can move on chain. But for that, you have to trust the chain and the protocol. And that is why we're native on Bitcoin and we don't use layer two protocols. So you don't have to trust someone else. How can we make Bitcoin smarter? I just told it a bit before. You do it, you use the Bitcoin layer himself, layer one on Bitcoin. That is, from my perspective and what we are believing in, the future, so that we are able to put things on a layer one protocol directly instead of using different other layer changes. With TAP protocol, you don't need an L2 infrastructure. You don't need users. So, so what you can do is you use something on the chain directly. So trust first principle. So trust the chain which belongs to the ecosystem. So there is nothing behind. It's incredibly important for us that you build sophisticated infrastructure on Bitcoin so that it's most secure, most stable, and supports all the developers around there. They build the infrastructure. They build the products. They build what we call trust. How smart can we do Bitcoin? It's quite simple. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so how will we impact um, the Meta Protocol ecosystem? 
So we are using assets for investors, for developers they can use on building their project, building their contact. Developers and investors are recently advanced using our protocol. We give them the opportunity to unlock the potential of the Bitcoin chain, which means there is a huge opportunity with the new ordinals for the people to build own solutions. And by increasing these kind of solutions, users will get on that chain. We will move users from different other chains like Ethereum, Solana, whatever, on Bitcoin. And this unlocks potential and a really, really huge amount of capital. That is what we are believing in. So this is something we really believe. So the, that doesn't mean that there is a value on other chains, but I think really to do it on Bitcoin, on the native change, it's super, super more trustful. What we already did is we will launch a bridge soon while the event so you are able to bring your stuff from different other changes on Bitcoin over the bridge. So this is, I think, super important. And I think this is not done before so that you can transfer your things from different other chains, your products, your service back to Bitcoin, I would say. So this is, I think, another significant um, idea for the um, developer community and it helps growing Bitcoin himself and the ecosystem. So what is the other opportunity to get um, more tool skills because people starting event developing more on Bitcoin. So the ecosystem of Bitcoin will increase there will be more tools, more usability, more functionality, everything that will happen in the future nearby on Bitcoin. So there is also an, an opportunity for the investors because if there are no, com no products, no services, everything is new on the chain. We, we increase the volume um, of transactions, we increase the volume of users and that has an impact on all the investors outside. Take a look, investing in products, and then we just have to find out which programmers makes really good benefits and produce super worthful products and services. So it's also for the miners. The miners getting reward because we increase the volume of transactions on chain. So the, value, the, the miners, will receive benefits. They keep the network alive. The network will start growing again. And this is super, super important for whole community. And last but not least, I told you the users. The users had the chance to get simply using new products, new features, new services, and they can trust. And there is no layer between. So they just use the service Trust the Bitcoin, no layer between. You don't have to provide data to other companies, to other chains. You're not trustful as Bitcoin. So this is for the users and to keep them safe, I would say a huge benefit um, in respect of trust. Simple as that, from my perspective, the Meta protocol, which is top enabling, is really, really useful. It's really trustful. It unlocks potential for Bitcoin, which is super good. It gives you great opportunities. It brings you value. It is the possible to do really secured things on the mother chain. I know people always thinking about like it's getting more expensive or stuff like that. The point is, how you want to trust in something which has not the same strength like Bitcoin. You always have to trust people, and that might be sometimes a bit difficult. So if you do something on Bitcoin, it's on-chain, everything is there, nothing is between, your transaction is 
from my perspective, the safest one you can do. Meta protocol, sorry, meta protocols are redefining, from my perspective, the payment services and the services which normal fiat transactions or services bring into it. So I think really we can transfer to a decentralized world classic banking and financial operations. We really, really want to invite you to come to take a look on our hackathon on this stage. We want to really invite you to come to our booth to take a look on what we are doing. There are lots of developers from our team right there. They can really go into the details. They can give you really an overview of what we are doing, what we are releasing, for how cool the bridge is, how simple it works, how easy you can transfer things from all chains to another. So really take that opportunity. So that's simple. That's what I want to tell you for today. I would really invite you to our boast. Thank you so much. And if someone is interested, TGE, um, 21st of October. Thank you. your company ready for the next evolution in financial strategy? Bitcoin for Corporations is your partner in securing the future of your business. With exclusive membership benefits, our comprehensive masterclass, and a network of trusted service providers, we provide the insights and resources to help you incorporate Bitcoin into your financial strategy, ensuring stability and long-term value. Strengthen your business. Innovate with confidence. Bitcoin for Corporations, protecting your treasury and positioning you for the future.